Okay, so I, I have your file down here, but I opened up this other one and just made some stuff uh, so I could show you uh, chain selecting really quick. And uh, what that means is what are all those cones that pop up while you're doing it and how do you direct them? Well, uh, using, let's just take the cross section tool because that's what I'm going to show you on your file. Um, it's going to ask for chain selecting, and and so what does that mean? See how if you look in this picture, you'll see one, two, three, four. Each one of those would represent a chain. So you want to make a cross section between all of these entities, and each one needs to be a chain selected uh, in that order. That's how the skin is going to try and process through it. So, for instance, here the here's these four lines. If I wanted to cross section between them, right? I would need to do a chain selection by numbering them now. When I make my first click, it starts the direction of the first chain that you've selected. So you click on this end, the cone pops up, it says it's going there left to right. If I wanted to switch the direction, you just click on the other end. So you click on the end of the entity in the direction you want to go. So if let's say I'm going to make them all go from left to right. So I'm going to left click there and then you shift click on the end to end that entity and then the, the end of that one pops up then I move to number two here's number two over here so I'm and I'm gonna go in order on these show so um, I can left click and then shift click the left click gets the direction and then the shift click um, if it's just a single entity like like this one is here with nothing else attached to it I could just shift click right there on the end and it pops up like that now I have all those four and they're all pointing in the same direction like in this picture here and now I can just uh you know hit okay and it'll and it creates the skin between uh those entities there like this. And so now uh chain selection also uh you direct it. So like how would you direct it to go through this whole mess of stuff right here if I wanted to make it follow a path on any of these entities, right? Well, it's the same thing. Say, let's pick this entity, and um, I'm going to left click here, and it starts and chooses the direction of it. Remember, you can change the direction, but I don't want to go that way, so I'll just click on the end of the, the entity in the direction I want it to go. Now you just single click the entities that are going to go in the path of the direction you want. And when you get to the last one, so let's say... Um, <clears throat> This one right here is going to be the last one. I don't want to make that weird sharp turn. So now I can shift click right there and the end pops up <clears throat> and I've selected that as a chain. <clears throat> now I would move to the next chain in line. Now of course nothing in that mess would do it but this was uh, just a methodology to show you how you go through and uh, pick your entities to get to do chain selection. So now how does that relate to your file. And so here's your file and you want to do a cross section uh, skin say you wanted it to have that taper from this upper ring down to you know this outer edge here and uh, I mentioned cloth to you that was just because the, what, doing it this way makes it look like the skin is kinda like pulled tight over this top circle and it's cloth draped over as opposed to you know, I wasn't sure if what you wanted were um, was like a uh, hard edge that goes uh, just a straight line from here to here and you know just a hard cut off edge or not uh, you would have to use another method if you wanted to do that but anyway so to be able to cross section this though um, I talked to you in the other uh, thread about how to break up this circle because you want to be able to match you need to be able to match edges so the way I broke this up here was I decided I could cross section your part by having this edge here on this profile be 1, then this curve here on the outer edge be 2, then this whole back edge be 3, and this edge be 4. And so you need this circle broke up into those four segments. So you'll see here's 1, here's 2, that one's even and matches straight across to that one. This back one here is 3 that matches to that one, and this one here is 4. Now how come, oh these are all three different entities, how can I talk to it about as being one well that's where the chain selection because I can chain select this whole th these three entities right here as one and match that so the way it'll look then is I'll hit mute button hold on okay so the way it'll look is I'll choose cross-section and it's going to ask me to choose my first one 
So I wanted to do this whole edge to match this edge here, right? So I'll pick on this one to start it going that way. Then I need to select that little piece there. And now I can come to this edge right here, Entity, and Shift-click it. And now I have one section there. And I can also, go. now I go up to this one to be two to make that cross-section, right? And so I click once there, and I make sure they're going in the same direction. If I accidentally clicked on this side here, that wouldn't work. They're both going in opposite directions. So I there, and now I shift click, and I have my second chain, and now a skin, a cross section will be formed between this line and that line that I just selected there. So when I say OK, there's a cross section that shows up between there. Now, uh, same thing for this one. Here's that outer one. There's I just left click and then I shift click and then uh, same thing and I'm going to match that to this edge here so I'm going to left click and shift click and then I'm going to skin it okay and then same thing here now I'm going to left click I start it then I can click that middle one with a single left click and now I come over to this one and I shift click to end it and then same thing over here I just left click and shift click and now I skin that right and then now I finish it off with this one left click shift click and then this outer ring is one solid entity to match that one so left click shift click and skin and uh, that's how I skinned your part to drift down from that there now um, just doing uh, to make that a solid so you can cut holes and stuff is is fairly easily is fairly easily done you know let's just get those out of the way for a second here now so so now um what i need to do that thing had holes in it right this top needed to be closed and the bottom needed to be closed so i could just planar those things right there so I want to chain select that whole circle like just shift click and it cl and it selected the whole circle even though they were broken up and I go like that and it planar it. same thing with here if I shift click that it cl selects everything that's connected and I planar it and then now I can uh, stitch that I can uh, bring this uh, back these surfaces here that I blanked a second ago and then I can stitch, see that hole is filled and the bottom is filled too. And if I stitch those all together, then uh, it's a solid. And then now what I can do is just extrude uh, that other stuff, excuse me. I didn't really, I should have set this up on layers and then I could uh, uh, show you better. Yeah, now I can, now I can extrude that inner circle down and these um, up through the top of that surface and boolean those away and that'll cut a hole in it right and then if I wanted to keep going like okay so now I just made that top surface if the thing needed to be another uh, half inch deeper or something I could either uh, take my solid and extrude that surface down and then boolean them together or I could extrude that curve down too and just get more solid you know so if you extrude curve for instance um, I can just put a minus there and then shift click this and it'll make a solid going down and of course then that would uh, you know uh, I could pull in all that stuff onto there oh. hey sweetie hold on I'm almost done okay so and that's basically it then you just cut holes in it with other you know the other extrusions like if I extruded that thing down all the way through I boolean difference there's a hole in the middle of it now so that's chain selecting okay and then uh, we'll talk to you later about it more